Now on Eyewitness News, UConn football is back in action. The new season kicks off in less than two hours, but the tailgates are going on right now. Look at this. Is this them behind us? Wow. It's quite a crowd. <laughs> if you've been to a game, you may have seen some wild ones before. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live at Pratt & Whitney Stadium right there at Rentschler Field. I see a crowd behind you, Matthew. Yes. How you doing? Yes, Mark and Denise, you know, college football is back and tailgating is a big part of this culture. You're taking a live look at the exclusive student lot. This is set aside from the general public and it's, you know, usually where you'd previously see some wild things. UConn says that needs to change or this lot will be shut down for good. It's just some guys being dudes. Yeah, no problems. No, sure. one's on, no one wants any trouble. Just they kind of uh, love us right some, now. They love that fun. we showed up an hour early. The boys from this UConn fraternity are promising to be on their best behavior. The entire student body got this memo from UConn, essentially telling them to clean up the act or else. 80 degree day in the yeah, sun, beautiful. drinking beer, watching football. It's what, What's better, better than that? In years past, according to people who have attended, the activities at student tailgates would include things that would make Buffalo Bill Bill's tailgates look lame. Bill's Mafia? Nope. You, let's go skis. <laughs> right here. Let's go. Sources say that included students running on top of the urinals and getting so drunk they pass out in the woods and rampant littering. A footprint is what matters, so we're gonna we're gonna clean up after. I mean, as many cans as we can. We have people to do that, and we organize it well. So yeah. everybody's ready to have a good time. These students say that's never been an issue with them, and won't be this season. It started out, you know, play some music here, but in about 20 minutes, we're gonna get lots of ladies <laughs> and lots of guys, dude, drinking some beer, cold beer, good football, or decent football, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have some fun. A reminder is posted at the entrance: no drinking games. No no hard liquor, no kegs, no open flames, and no extended tailgating. Everything needs to be shut down 30 minutes before kickoff. You're telling me you guys are there every single kickoff? Yes, oh, yeah. sir. Oh, no. Yes, sir. Almost always, bro. baby. I'm Almost bro. always. So students promise to be on their best behavior, but there are at least 10 state troopers dedicated solely to this lot to make sure uh, all these students stay in line. That's the latest live here from Rentschler. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News.